Shalom family, I, I got to tell you, if, if I was leading a country, and thank, thankfully I'm not, uh, if I was leading a country and Mr. Biden threatened me, I, I would seriously giggle and not be stressed at all. I mean, this man that falls up stairways, gets lost in his own garden and can barely string a sentence and desperately needs an ice cream, can threaten until he's purple. I don't think anybody with a brain or any fortitude takes him seriously. Biden draws red line for Benjamin Netanyahu and warns them not to attack Rafa. President Biden drew the line for Israel over the weekend, warning against an attack on the Gaza Strip of Rafa. In the Saturday interview, the president offered his harshest criticism to date of Benjamin Netanyahu. Great friend. He said the leadership's conduct of the war against the Palestinian terror group Hamas is hurting Israel more than helping Israel, Mr. Biden said. Israel must take greater care to protect civilians in Gaza. He also made it clear that an Israeli attack on Rafah would be unacceptable. It is a red line, Biden said, when asked about a potential Israeli military assault. But I'm never going to leave Israel, he quickly added. The defense of Israel is still critical. Duh. There's no red line where I'm going to cut off all weapons so that they don't have the Iron Dome to protect them. So he's willing to make sure the Iron Dome keeps working and has enough ammunition, but the rest? Yeah, no. We'll send that to Ukraine. There's other ways to deal with this, to get to and to deal with the trauma caused by Hamas. CIA Director William Burns is in the Middle East trying to secure a deal between Israel and Hamas that would free hostages in exchange for a six-week ceasefire. I do not see it happening. I don't. I'd love to be wrong. I do not see it happening. I see a huge flare-up and an excuse to take the fight into the next level coming, and we'll see what happens. A lot of a lot of tension because of this Rafa operation. And they need to go into Rafa to pick up Sinwar and his buddies. It has to happen. But when it happens, the world is going to implode completely. People's little heads are going to pop. So pray for Israel. Pray that they make the right decisions. Pray that they turn to God and not man. And just keep looking up. Shalom.